cutting all the way through, which is what I want. When I first got this knife, I inherited it from somebody. I didn't know how helpful or useful this was, but now I can't survive without it. This, this square knife in particular, the great knife. Side is a little bit harder. Ah, this one is screwed. That's a, uh, there's a sink in there. And I think that one's a screw on it. That doesn't help. It's definitely attached the wheel well. It's actually stapled on there. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that grinder and just cut cut that bottom out.
So uh, a couple days ago, I was uh, stepping uh, from the trailer onto the floor, onto the ground. I think I was trying to trash something over there. And I stepped on a rusty uh, nail and it went through my shoe and right into my foot and that hurt. Uh, what I did was I immediately washed it with water um, being that I don't have a first aid kit in my shop here currently, I walked to the house, to the main house, and I asked if they had anything, and uh, you know they gave me a band-aid, and uh, and they gave me some hydrogen peroxide, and uh, and some charcoal, some medicinal charcoal. So what I did was I washed it again with hydrogen peroxide. Um, later, later on when I read about it, it turns out hydrogen peroxide really doesn't do anything to uh, tetanus. Uh, it doesn't, there's no way hydrogen peroxide could wash away any, any tetanus, whatever. Uh, I ended up washing it with that hydrogen peroxide. And then I opened up these, uh, uh, charcoal, medicinal charcoal capsules. And I poured charcoal right over that wound. And that sort of sealed it up, which is good because I didn't want to get any other infections. So I put on my socks and uh, my, my shoe, and, and I came back in here, and I continued working. But then I got home I, after talking to a few friends. They told me that it's best to get a vaccination for tetanus because I haven't gotten one in over 10 years. So I made an appointment yesterday morning, and I went and got a tetanus shot. And so I pretty much took the day off. Um, you know, I just researched on the internet, oh, excuse me, and I am back, it's Thursday, I'm back in the shop, um, but I've changed one thing, instead of wearing the tennis shoes that I used to wear, I got some boots, some hardcore boots that, that will, will definitely I mean, the sole looks bulletproof. I mean, I hope no nails are going to go through this. But these are comfortable as well, so my feet are going to be protected. Um, my lungs are going to be protected. My eyes will be protected if I keep my goggles on. <laughs> um, and respirator, obviously. And then, uh, yeah, I'm trying to stay as protected as possible. Um, so... I can't wait to wear these shoes and, and see how well I perform. I know I prefer the tennis shoes because they're light and, you know, you can move up and down real quickly on those. Um, but it's, I guess it's a fair, it's a good trade-off. Uh, safety for a bit of slowness. That's okay. Slowness and heaviness. But my feet will get used to it. My legs will get used to the shoes pretty quickly. I can actually step with my foot right now. And there is a very minute pain. I mean, it's like a slight pinch, you know, and it doesn't hurt. Um, so, I'm healthy and I'm good to go. By the time we get rolling. Try and remove the bathroom. 
of the shower area. All the while hoping this, all the while hoping this ceiling doesn't collapse on me. Might be a good idea to put this on. Actually, it doesn't really fit on my head. Maybe, maybe I should remove this first and then try and put this on. Yeah, it fits this way. So, that's good. I'm just gonna do it slowly, just uh, one knock at a time, engaging this ceiling, what the ceiling does. Somebody who wants a uh, 
a tiny shower. And there's enough room, especially with this uh, uh, extruded skylight. It's extruded outward. There's enough room up here for at least somebody who's 6'3". Uh, actually, you can go even up to 6'5". Um, with my, uh, with this protective helmet, that adds about two, three inches to me. 5'11 and a half, so that's about 6'2". So that's a pretty good size shower, but I'm not gonna need it. The uh, screw heads look like they're script, which will make it a little bit harder to get them out.